Watch this, watch this. Stay road sign and ring that bell. Ring that bell. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Uh, ring it that bell. Thank you, Rocky. Oh, wait, my God. Okay. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. What'd you cook, baby? Adobo. I cooked adobo. What'd you make Marcos here for breakfast, baby? Chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah, folks. Coming in there, another chicken sandwich. And some guacamole. Oh, yeah, put a little bit of that Caesar. Oh, just put it on the side, baby. But here, no. No, put it right here. Just put it right there. That way it don't drip out of my sandwich. I'll just dip it in there. Good Caesar dressing from the Burrito Mini Mart. And what brand is that, honey? Is that Mother's Best or no? No, that's uh, Lady's Choice. Pretty good stuff. 270 Wait, nah. pesos. Not exactly cheap, but you know, your dressings and all that. Ain't cheap. Folks, look at this weather. I am even more bummed out. Look at this. I mean, our camping trip got got scrubbed based on the weather over the past week. I understand it. But man, it was a huge wrong call. This is probably one of the most beautiful days we've had in weeks. We could be over there on Kenna Books on Beach. But unfortunately, you know, call had to be made about the safety of the boat ride. But it turned out to be the wrong one. Damn. I could be on the beach over there right now camping. No rain. All right, she got Janice over here with the with the Mac Daddy walk. And she says she's making uh hold on, babe, what you got there? Is that pork adobo? Yeah. No, chicken adobo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean chicken adobo. It smells delicious. Chicken adobo smells delicious, folks. How about you? No, I don't cook the tuya today. Honey, what are you about to put in here? I'm serious. Okay, yeah, bananas. Okay, carry on. <laughs> if it's tuyo, I'm leaving. <laughs> Honey, if it's tuyo, I'm leaving the country. Because that's yeah, how far yeah, I'd have to get to get away from that stench. You, you All right, folks, we'll just do a quick film Janice here. Getting these bananas going on. Fired up, baby. Just wait, Tui. Why I got to wait? I'm a busy man. I'm not busy. Oh, folks, we got more blooms over here on the peppers and cucumbers. These ladies did well on their planting operation, their farm back here. Ladies, in a couple of months, I want our yard to look like the neighbors with all the agriculture going on. <laughs> Baby, just a friendly reminder, don't don't use my barbecue tools on any more Tuyo operations, okay? Okay, but don't don't use these. Get the Divi Mart tongs. No, no more. What happened to monkeys him? 
Ikaw pa nga iluto ko dito eh. Hey, 4th G. How you doing this morning, son? He's been studying his books and his ABCs with his mom. Folks, last night, believe it or not, these ladies, they were working on their spelling skills and I gave them a spelling test. Oh, baby's interesting. I gave him 20 words. And, you know, some easy, some middle, and some very difficult. And believe it or not, out of 20 words, both ladies passed. Ladies, is it okay if I tell your scores? Huh? There's no problem with telling the scores? Okay, folks. Janice, out of 20 questions, she missed six. She got a 70. But that's passing, baby. That's passing. You pass. Why you? I'm I'm little bit past. But why in school I've always passed? I don't know. You, I, I can't explain it. But uh, she made a 70. I made a lot of 70s in my day. I'll take a 70 any day over a 69. Well, yeah. So, uh... Well. Yeah. Then Fatima, I graded her paper, and she got a, uh, what'd you get, baby? 75, right? She missed, she missed five. I missed camera only. Well, the, yeah, they would've got the same score, but she only wrote down 19 words. She forgot to spell out camera. So she, she lost one point by omission, by not uh, attempting the word. the first paper, I got the camera, then I'm transfer, I forgot. It's not my fault, baby. All I know is I graded your paper. You had 19 words, and I'm like, where's the 20th? I had to put the papers next together. And uh, the word, she left out the word camera for some reason. So she, she got a 75, I got a 75, but I was very proud of them. Number one, their writing is very, very neat and legible. I mean, I'm talking like just wonderful, just beautiful handwriting. I was like, wow, I can actually read this when I, I thought I was going to be looking at chicken scratch. So their English writing skills, as far as legibility, is wonderful. You'd hire either one of these ladies. You can, just perfect, uh, you know, letter formation, spacing. I mean, I, I don't know how to, how to describe it. But then the words that I thought they would miss, they spell. Fatima even spell hippopotamus right. Oh, I miss, I miss P only. <laughs> now, refri refrigerator was one of the words, but then she ran over to the refrigerator, you know. It's not the wrong setting. And there was a little, there was a little cheating going on. Um, but anyhow, they did real well. And the words that they missed were very surprising. Can I tell them which words you both missed? <laughs> Philippines. <laughs> Philippines. Philippines. They both spill, spell Philippines wrong. <laughs> because mostly I, I put a Filipinas. <laughs> Filipinas like that. The okay. P-I-L-I-P. Well, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this, like like seriously, you see Philippines and Filipinas and Pil it's spelled so many different ways. I don't know what the correct way you guys spell it. I see Filipinas. <laughs> I'm just only wrong the L L uh, the the I L I. Yeah, well that's kind of tricky because it is spelled so many different ways here. You can't really fault them for that. I mean you'll see it. I don't, know. I don't know how many ways it's spelled. Pilipinas with a P. Uh, anyhow, they missed Philippines. And what was the other ones you missed? Pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, tell me. Because you use uh, in here pizza. That is a pizza. They have T. Uh, That's. Three. Uh, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pizza. Okay, the re but baby, you pronounce it pizza. Yeah, pizza. But they put a T in there. P I T Z A. Pizza. Yeah, that's why we put a pizza. Okay, it's then you said a pizza. Yeah, so you got that one wrong, but I understand that. That's the way it sounds. And then the third one, I said tree, like this guava tree. <laughs> and how did you spell it, ladies? T H R E E. Yeah, cause you thought I said three. 
So that was that was kind of innocent. They thought I said three, but I said tree. So I drew them a picture. So next time they'll know how to spell it. So so Philippines and the tree, I kind of give them that one. So really, if you take off two, Fatima made an 85 and Janice made an 80. So they're B students. Ladies, you're both B students. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, but I'm curious how how you know, baby. How did you know how to spell hippopotamus? Because most most English speakers would probably spell hippopotamus wrong. That's why. And they have they, that's right. They have hippopotamus on there, right? On the song. Before I thought that hippopotamus it's food. When Ati showed me, that's a hippopotamus. <laughs> what? That's a, I thought that's a... <laughs> now, folks, she, she just told on herself. I'm not, I wasn't going to tell on her. But after all this discussion about hippopotamus, Janice finally made the admission that she thought hippopotamus was some type of food. I guess it can... I mean, it can be a food if you chop it up and barbecue it, but... <laughs> But the mouth that's is so big. Food. That's still food. If you cook it, cook that, eat that. Oh, that's still food. The baby. We can't eat the hippopotamus. Why not? <laughs> Do you have a big teeth, big mouth, big nose? <laughs> but baby, what kind of food did you think the hippopotamus was? What kind of food? That's uh, American food. I, you know, I'm thinking. Some type of American food dish. Hippopotamus. That's why too hard to pronounce. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Okay. Well, the only reason she missed the spelling, she just put one P. So she almost spelled it right. And this one over here spelled it right. Because I guess that's part of Forrest G's uh, ABC curriculum on the YouTube. You know, I always watch that I'm not forget that. Mm -hmm. oh. Baby, I think you burned that last one there. That's a no, little. Oh, that's not burned. I'm not used to you know having burn marks on my bananas. You know. It's not burned. Because you not put a banana. Uh. Because in the baby, I ain't never burned nothing in my my kitchen Food. cooking career. I ain't never burned nothing. Yeah. Y'all know that. Y'all know you got to recognize these skills. And I got some burn marks in here, baby. My goodness, baby, that smells delicious. Oh, back to adobo. I was going to talk about adobo. Now, folks, adobo is a Filipino dish. Absolutely delicious. And you go with the pork or the chicken. Now, in my experience... Even though these ladies love pork more than they love chicken, when it comes to adobo, they always go for the chicken. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they like them bones. They want them bones, right? So the chicken has bones in the adobo, but the pork does not. So when it comes to adobo... But the adobo or the pork, they have a pot. We like pots. Yeah, but most, most, I can only speak from my experience, okay? I can't speak for everybody's experience. I can only speak from my experience. All the Filipinas that I've ever been with, if you give them a choice, pork adobo or chicken, they all go with the chicken. And it has to do with the bones. Me, the foreign guy, I go with the pork because it's boneless. Now, for me, some of the best adobo that you can get up here in this area is Margarita Station, Angeles City. Order the pork adobo. They bring it out in this little skillet with a wood handle and a little lid. It's so what cute. Are you eating? The presentation yeah. is uh, wonderful. Um, maybe I'll eat in there because I'm in the yeah. middle of some edit. So anyhow, Margarita Station, Angelis, pork adobo. Great presentation. Great food. Get it with the garlic rice. Outstanding. And there was one other place down in Cebu uh, that I'd go to and get it. Had the right amount of spice to it. Mm. When you find a place that makes adobo just the way you want it, uh, just a great uh, Filipino dish. Man, now I'm hungry for some pork adobo. Maybe I jump on the Angel's uh, Bakery bread van, head over to Angelis City for the night. Maybe I'm gonna go to Angelis City for a night just so I can get some pork adobo over at uh, Margarita Station. Like the, the, our adobo. 
No, you did real good cooking, but I'm just dreaming about my pork adobo. Hey, Over you the just What? <laughs> so we got ice in here? Yeah. So this is the ice in the sub zero, sub Z, whatever. It's lasting what about three days? Yeah. Almost. So it lasts about three days, somewhere in there. And yeah, it's a little bit, you know, out of our budget to spend that much money on ice. We're spending about well a dollar a day. We're spending a buck a day on this ice. That's way too much. But I don't have an ice maker and I'm always out of ice and I'm tired of being out of ice. Especially since I stopped drinking beer. So this is the 45 liter sub Z. I don't know if it's real or a knockoff. The jury's still out. Forest Jeep painted the top of it. Makes a great kitchen table. This is our kitchen table now when we eat inside because we put the table outside. Let me show you this meal. Badass meal that Janice has prepared for me, folks. Check out that chicken sandwich. I told her just leave it like that. The little Caesar dressing, the guacamole, the fried bananas, and the chips. These are the chips you get from Bingo's, uh, Bingo's Bakery. Absolutely delicious. Almost have a little bit of just regular nachos, but they almost have a little bit of spice flavor to them. I mean, they're they're delicious. And we're out of Coke. Just go with the water. Check that out. Time to chow. Who's chubby? I see mama lucky tummy. See mama big tummy. Okay, Alright folks, the ladies are gonna demonstrate their technique that I've been watching them. Okay, they've been eating this mango. So when, when she gets ready. How's the mango, lady? No, it's already finished. How's my tooth, Camo? My teeth is already retired. <laughs> it's hurt. But I want to eat. A good job. Folks, there's a ladder here in the Philippines. <laughs> Just be careful, man. Whoa. Whew. Folks, that, that bamboo is strong. <laughs> Go ahead, chop it up, baby. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Chop it up. Just watch your fingers, baby. Ooh, hit it with the coconut chopper. There you go, baton. That's what we call it. Oh, big chop on the coconut chopper. Pandemonium over here. One more time, baby. Hooray! Look at that. That calabasa tried to jump off the table. Get it in that dog bowl. You may proceed. Ooh. Folks, that coconut chopper is the best all around tool. You get stranded on a deserted island, as long as you got a machete, that's all you need. I'm gonna shave that carrot. Baby, I think you're taking off a lot of good parts of the carrot, though. Me, I just chop it up and put it in a bowl. Let's do it. I got carrots on the ground over here. Now, you want to borrow my new uh, Gerber knife? No need. That's one to make cut my finger. Oh, that's the one that cuts you? <laughs> no, it was the old one. The old Go one cut you up. Nah, that's all right. You're more familiar with that coconut chopper. All right, what y'all want me to go get, ladies? Leech on my note. You want me to cook? It was always chicken. Morning chicken. Yesterday chicken. How can you complain about chicken? Oh, you want pork? 
Okay, she says pork. This one says lechon, but no. What y'all want? There's a dispute. I'll go get some pork chops and put them on the grill or no? They love my cooking. <laughs> Saturday night, got a lot of traffic going down. Everybody trying to head up into Zambales, but you got people coming southbound too. Coming up here to get some pork chops. Yeah, at the fresh options. Got the, got the popo over there. Got the MPs over there for some reason. Let me go shields up. There you go. Got the MPs to the port side of the aircraft. $3.99 on the pork steak. It's going one kilo. I see got 5 -0 back there. I don't know if it's a crash or what they're doing. Got me some pork. Pork steaks, uh, 400 and, what, 402 pesos? So I'm gonna go back home and probably put these in the soup. It's funny, when that, when that police truck rolled up, everybody got quiet. <laughs> All right, oh shit, I'm getting run over here. Hey folks, thanks for joining me on today's video. Joining us here in Barrio Barreto on the beautiful Subic Bay. Here in the Philippines, my friends. Oh, snap, folks. I am a good foreign guy. Let me get away from this music, and I'm going to tell you why I'm a good foreign guy. I am a good foreign guy because I saw this lady selling some fish. It's an old bicycle cart. I didn't get the phone out. Check them out. It was 200 a peso. I said, lady, I'll be honest with you. I'm not lying. I got 100 pesos. And she said, that'll get you a half kilo. So it got me three fish. Now, that's the pork steak right here. But I got three fish. Wife number one is going to be so exciting. My goodness, I'm a good foreign guy. You know, my Thai wife, if I used to piss her off, all I had to do was go out and buy her a squid. She'd be like, you mother, blah, blah. And then I hand her that squid, she'd be like, mm, mm, mm. oh, that's, 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 oh, that's good. Filipinas, sort of the same way. But they're not as impressed by a squid as a uh, Thai girl is. Let me get the video going here, see what happens. Hey, baby. Ladies, I got some uh, pork steaks, but I got you ladies a surprise. You don't know what it is. Are you cooking or are you bathing? <laughs> or is, <laughs> is that like a mud mask? What is that you got on your face, baby? I put the... All right, baby, I got you a gift. Yeah. See, are you happy? No, we're happy. I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? I'm not happy, that's more happy only. Folks, no matter what you do, you can't please these two Filipinas. You know? All right, well, I'll just take these three fish back to the Montes on the street over there. Okay, boss. What? I'll be right back in a few minutes. Look at this beautiful girl taking a shower. Doing the Lego challenge. My goodness. All right, folks, over here to the cooking station. I didn't figure y'all wanted to watch Janice take a shower all night. Um, she's already chopped up the vegetables. Chop it up, baby. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Yeah. Baby, easy. You lost a piece of pork over there in the dirt. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, the gas is off. It ain't got no gas in it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now I'm showing off right there. At the middle. Oh my goodness. Cut that oh. cut that thing down. Get it oh. under control. The fire going on here. You got wife number one yakking to her family in the background. 
Look at that. That is some good looking pork steak right there. This shit get heated up a little bit more. But, you know what? There's no time like the present. Whoa! Look at that. Get a nice sizzle sizzle out of that pork. Spice rack in here. Look at that. Painted it up now. Boom. And go the tomatoes. Let them flavors marry together for a minute. What, baby? Go me. I'm going for soup. Stack the cool. Oh, look at that. Only lost one coin. Yeah, I need three flavor cubes and the chili oil. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. What flavor? Uh, baby, I'm making pork. Give me the pork. Pork cubes. Yeah, I need the pork cubes. I mean, that looks like a chicken to me. Mm. But I read it's pork. P-O-R-K. Let me see. <laughs> okay. All right. That does appear to be a pig. I was just making sure you didn't bring me the chicken cubes. Oh, my God. Someone eat this. Uh, if there's a rat been in there, could be them ants now. Hey, no, someone eating your cubes. <laughs> Okay, well, go get another pack. No, I don't, I don't want the, I don't want the ones the rats been eating on, baby. What the there you go. Look at that soup. Folks, Campbell's ain't got nothing on me. Matter of fact, I think somebody from Campbell's tried to call me, trying to get my recipe put in a can. Be coming to you soon over there in America. There you go, folks. I like to put crackers in my soup. I like a little hot sauce too, but I've already used all that hot sauce that we got in our Blick Bion package. What's this, honey? We need to finish that. Oh, yeah, yeah, finish it double. How is it, Force G? You want, to, you want to tell everybody why? You want to tell everybody why you're sitting up here? Baby, frog is just only a little. She's big. Baby, that frog. Listen. Janice is scared of the frog, so she don't want to sit over here. But folks, that frog is bigger than that bowl. It's like yeah. two of them bowls. He's, he's huge. Whoa, Force G. How is it, darling? Delicious. Delicious? <laughs> Whoa. No, that's not nice. Delicious. Oh, good job, son. Big bite. Baby, that's a storage container, not your personal cup. What you got mixed up in there? A shake. I know, but that's that's supposed to be a storage container. But it's it's supposed to be in my mouth. This bag, this glass is too tired to put a little bit, put little bit. This one, I cannot put little bit. <laughs> what? Just ask, ask your subscriber what For reference, this, this is my Yeti cup here. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. The Yeti cup's not big enough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 